Let's start recording. Howdy y'all, and welcome back to Cup of Cheer on this, the first Sunday of Advent. <laughs> uh, I have a little friend here named Zeke, my little boxer doggy. Say hi to everyone, YouTube land. Thank you, cute boy. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about Advent with you and <laughs> share a little bit of mine and something I'm kind of excited about this year. So usually I have a book about Advent that I read from on the first Sunday of Advent, but I don't have that handy. So I wanted to ask you, what uh, studies of Advent, Bible studies on Advent, are you and your family going through? Or what kind of Advent calendars or Advent activities are you doing with your family to celebrate this time of anticipating the coming of our Savior, or in some cases, perhaps just the coming of Christmas. Um, personally, I'm really excited because there's an app that I use uh, called YouVersion. It's a Bible app, and they just started a new feature. It's not on all devices yet, which is kind of a bummer, and there's still some kinks to be worked out, but it finally lets you be able to actually do Bible study with other people that aren't there with you. So for someone like myself, who's been pretty housebound this last year, to be able to do a small group style Bible study at my own pace and not have to worry about schedules or when I can actually get together with people or how I can get, to get together with people is pretty awesome. So just the other night, I actually started uh, my first... Bible study plan with one of my old Bible study buddies, and it's pretty neat. It works like a forum, uh, so one person is the leader of the group, and they pick the devotional or the topic. In, in our case, it's an Advent study, and then they invite others to join the study with them, and everybody can read at their own pace, and whenever they are finished with the day's reading, they are able to comment at the end either questions or thoughts or uh, whatever it may be and sometimes even answers to questions that were brought up in the devotional themselves. And each person can also comment on other people's comments, which can be good or bad depending on your liking. But I think it's really great because it can give you a chance to do small group when you aren't near a good small group. So I really love that and it Gives you the chance also to share a little bit of Christmas uh, adventing with other people, with those that you love, which you can't be near them this time of year. So I love that that opens that up. So I'm actually doing that currently for my Advent study. And uh, I also am wondering, for those of you out there that have children, what Advent studies are you doing? I was talking to a mom today, and uh, an interesting topic came up, which is that most Advent things cost money. Uh, in order to really do an Advent book or an Advent study, it costs money, and almost every other thing about the season costs money too. And if you don't really have much to spend, it can be very hard to do Advent with a young and perhaps even big family. So, what are some of your favorite Advent studies to do with your family, uh, especially if you have small children, and are any of them maybe free or affordable? I'd love to know your thoughts, and I'd love to uh, hear what you guys are doing. Thanks for being part of my Advent, and I hope that you are having a wonderful start of this Christmas season and this Advent season as we await the coming of our Savior, or the time of our coming, coming of our Savior. From me and mine, especially my puppies apparently to, tonight, to you and yours, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a cup of good cheer. <laughs> Zeke, what are you doing? Night all.